Let's first install EBIR forms in our computer by searching the form using Google. The first link is the right source, so let's click it and then go down. You can see here to download the offline EBIR forms package, click here. And then may nag pop up na zip file, click it twice. Another pop-up, click it twice again. Click yes. And then click next. Click next again. Click yes. Next, install. And then finish. We're done in the installation process. So we need to look for the EBIR forms app. So this is the app. Click it. And then, may lalabas dyan na form. Fill out lang natin yung TIN number natin. Then, it will auto-populate the other fields. Now, list of BIR forms, isearch lang natin yung yung um, right form na gusto mong i-file. So, right now, I'm filing for BIR form 1701Q. So, let's uh, use the latest one. Then, click natin yung fill up. Hit OK. Click Yes. Okay. So, dito na tayo sa quarterly income tax return. Make sure na yung year 2019 Sa certificate of registration nyo, makikita nyo guys kung anong quarter na kayo. So, I'm ticking third. And then, taxpayer or filer type, click nyo rin yan. Yung tamang, um, tamang category kung saan kayo nakasakop. Next is alphanumeric tax code. I'm picking business income, graduated IT rates. Next, date of birth. Citizenship, 16A, Method of Deduction, Itemized Deduction, blank, okay, so click natin yung tax due, okay, and then here, kasi sa 36A, um, enter ko na yung total income, Just a friendly reminder na nakalagay dito guys, do not enter centavos, 49 centavos or less drop down, 50 or more round up. Okay, I'm done. Click validate. So, if you need to edit the entries, then pwede nyo namang i-edit guys. I-click nyo lang tong edit. But I'm sure na, so click OK. And then hit save. So, nakasave na, nakasave na siya, guys. Okay. Now, next is print. Ayan. Mag-print print yun naman siya dito, guys. After natin tong ma-print, ma guys, um, balik na ulit tayo. Cancel print and then submit final copy. So, yung email address na ginamit nyo, makaka-receive kayo ng notification na na na-file na yung yung tax sa BIR. So, click OK. Tama nyong nagawa yung tax filing processes using EBIR forms kapag nakareceive kayo ng tax return receipt confirmation na ganito yung 
uh, itsura. Okay? Now, kapag dun sa 1701Q nyo, may nakalagay na tax due dito, kailangan yung i-print out yung 1701Q together with the tax return receipt confirmation and then pupunta kayo sa any authorized agent or collection agents ng BIR para dun yung babayaran yung yung tax due na nakalagay sa 1701Q nyo. So, sa akin, yung pinakamalapit na collection agent ay RCBC. Usually, i-require nila kayo na may 3 copies kayo ng tax return receipt confirmation at 3 copies din ng 1701Q. Tapos, yung 2 copies ay mapupunta dun sa collection agents or dun sa banko. And then, yung the other one is yun yung original copy nyo. 